Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I just filmed my 13 and 14 week update so if you haven't seen that already go back to yesterday's video and watch that. If you're interested don't be forced. Um, this video is going to be all about bleeding during pregnancy. Now disclaimer I'm no doctor um, and actually I've never had a reason why I have bled during pregnancy but I have done a little bit, tiny little bit of research um, so I'm not as worried and it's never been heavy bleeding which I know some women have experienced so um, I found out I was pregnant when I was four weeks and four days I believe but um, so I believed I was four weeks and four days when I had my dating scan I actually would have been five weeks and four days because I'm a week ahead so um, yeah so I'm gonna just talk about what I believed I was and then to the point where I am now so I was four weeks and four days um, when I found out I was pregnant and then about a couple of so about a week after so I must have been about five weeks and two days I could see I can't, it's, it's, I'm going back quite a few months so I can't I should have wrote it down I didn't but I was about five weeks two days and I had some spotting spotting now when you're pregnant um, you don't expect to bleed obviously no one expects to bleed when they're pregnant I know it's obviously some women do bleed but it's I wouldn't have said that it was very well known unless you are pregnant and part of the pregnancy community um, when you go to look up for advice other than that I don't think that you would know that um, you could bleed during pregnancy for example um, my partner Mike he, of, he didn't ever think of bleeding during pregnancy um, and a few family members that had been had had children also were a bit like a bit a little bit worried when I've told them that I have bled before because they're like then it's something that they've not really heard of as much um so I that, so going back to the point of the video that day I started spotting I I had been cramping but I'd been cramping since I found out I was pregnant but they were like very mild cramps they weren't like period cramps they were like um just before you get your period you know you get like a bit of cramping and I think that might have even been slight constipation as well because you know when you get constipated and you're bunged up before your period it was kind of like that and a little bit of cramping so I just called 111 here in the UK it's um it's for urgent care but not emergency like 999 or 911 in America um so I called 111 that you get to you have to answer this like all these questions to make sure you're not like severely ill or whatever um, and then they get a doctor to ring you back if they feel like you need a doctor to ring you back so obviously the lady knew I was concerned um, I think it's a nurse you speak to first and a doctor rings you back I think that's what it's like an uncle nurse so a doctor called me back and he basically said um, it can be completely normal um, if you have any clots um, or heavy bleeding you need to come to the emergency room the A&E a &E, um, because it could be a ectopic, ectopic pregnancy which is when it um, develops even the fallopian tubes or elsewhere um, but not the uterus and that's what bleeding is sometimes caused by um, it's not a free pregnancy so um, I was like okay so I was a little bit worried obviously um, but it was just spotting it was very light it was like what you get just before your period um, so it wasn't in, it wasn't nothing to be too concerned of and he said it basically if it gets any worse then you're probably having a miscarriage um, but if it becomes if you get severe bleeding with pain go to the emergency like A&E um, and then it happened I think about a week I had it um, but it was just every now and again and it was never like in uh, TMI it was never in my underwear it was just when I wiped I noticed that I had been uh, there was a bit of a lot um, and then it just went I just didn't have any more bleeding until about eight weeks pregnant so um, it was actually the day I thought I was eight weeks pregnant, which I actually would have been eight weeks and six days because of the way it figured. So yeah, it was a Monday morning, I remember, because um, I, was, I was getting ready to go to work actually. And um, I went to the bathroom and when I wiped, very TMI, I should have put the screen right, um, there was two blood clots. Now they were tiny, they were like minuscule blood clots, but they were clots. Um, and I started to, I was really upset and I started to panic. I was like, this is it. I've never been pregnant before, I've heard of other people having miscarriages, so, you know, I'm a big worrier, and on, constantly on my mind was, I hope I don't have a miscarriage, I just want to get to 12 weeks, I don't want to have a miscarriage, I know you can have one after 12 weeks, but it, I was quite worried about it, um, so I went downstairs, I burst into tears, I told my dad, and um, 
he I was like should I just call the mid my midwife because I've had had seen the midwife by then and that's a good point as well because let me go back a bit when I was six weeks which I was actually doing seven weeks I saw my midwife for the first time and I said to her I was worried about an atopic pregnancy I have no reason to be worried my tubes are fine as far as I'm aware um I have no scarring or anything so there's no reason why I should have worried about that but I was having cramping I was still having cramping and I was like well, I'm a bit worried because I'm cramping. And she said, if you had an atopic pregnancy, you would, wouldn't be able to talk to me. You'd be in so much pain, you would be on the floor crying. And I was like, oh, right, okay, well, that makes that makes sense. So, um, she made me actually feel a lot better and more at ease. So, fast forward, I found the two clots um, when I went to the toilet. So, I went downstairs, saw my dad up, and he was like, I was like, should I just call the midwife? Because obviously, he didn't really know what to do. So I called my midwife and she said, um, I need to go up to the local hospital. They have a special ward there. Um, if you're under 20 weeks, you get you can see someone if any, if you have any complications where my hospital is. But luckily, my friend Chloe was with me and she took me up to the hospital so I can go to this ward. Um, I, was, I was so scared. I was like... She might, but she helped ease me, make me feel better, because she does. In a bad situation, she makes you laugh, which is great. And this is, I needed her at that, to, at that time. And for some reason, I didn't tell my partner, Mike. He was at work. I didn't want to worry him. I thought, if it's nothing, then I'm worrying him over nothing. And I just didn't think to tell him. And I was more concerned about my, what was happening with myself and the baby. So I was like, just, you know, don't worry. So we've gone up to the hospital. I told them what was wrong. And they said, OK, please take a seat in the waiting room. We'll get someone to see you as soon as possible. Obviously, it's like an A&E situation where it's like first come, first serve. A bit like a walk-in situation if you have a walk-ins where you live. Um... So I went into this room and there was other pregnant women there, of course, um, and you know Chloe was making me laugh and making me feel better about it. And I needed a, I needed to go to the toilet while I was there. I think I was waiting there for at least two hours. It was yeah, at least two hours. But I went to the toilet while I was there, and um, when I wiped, it was just brown blood, like a tiny minuscule bit of brown brown blood. So um, basically, what that means is it's, it's dry, it's old blood. Right, so I'm not actively bleeding as such. So um, that made me put at ease. I told her, I told Chloe, I tell her everything. I was like, oh, I'm not as worried now. So um, I see a doctor. I might have been a nurse. I can't remember, but I saw someone. I think it was a nurse. Um, and he was asking me about my symptoms and stuff. And he reassured me. He said, um, sometimes this happens. Most women are up here because they're bleeding during pregnancy, and it's completely fine and completely normal, and doesn't mean you're having a miscarriage. So. Obviously, I felt a bit better then. He needed me to take a urine sample. This was a little while after I first done, I first went to the loo. Um, and I went and done my urine sample. When I wiped, no blood. So I was like, oh my god, thank god for that. So that put me even more at ease. And then I had to wait a little bit longer to see the doctor. Um, I I don't know why, at this point, why I had to see the doctor. So I was like, okay, um, went in the waiting room. And then I get called to see the doctor a little while later. And they want to do a vaginal ultrasound. So my mind was like, oh, thank God for that. But then also it was like, poor Mike, he won't be here, he won't get to see it. Like, oh, what if I don't, you know, just, I felt bad because Mike wasn't there and obviously it's his baby. So um, I had to lay down. She did the vaginal ultrasound and um, I saw this tiny little bean. And I mean, to me, it's just like a bean and it had like a little heartbeat and I could see the heartbeat and she said, your baby's fine. She, said, she couldn't tell me anything else. All she could tell me is that the baby's doing okay. She said it looks absolutely fine. And she looked at my cervix and said that my cervix is 100% closed. So it looks like there's nothing to worry about. Which was obviously, oh, thank God. And I think because me and Chloe were so relieved, actually Chloe shed a tear because she was like, oh my God, that's your baby. It's like, makes it all real, kind of. So, um, because, what was I saying? Yeah, because obviously it was, quite, it was kind of emotional and quite quick I, I didn't get to take a picture or anything of the ultrasound machine because they wouldn't give you a picture it was just like an emergency ultrasound but I think if I said oh, can I can't take a picture I think she might have let me because she was a really nice um, doctor that, that was there um, so I just didn't think and then we come out of there and I was just so relieved so I called my dad and my mum and everyone to let them know if it was fine and I still haven't told Mike at this point that I'd been to the hospital because I knew it was in work and I didn't want him to get annoyed or upset so it wasn't until he came home from work and I said, look, I need something, something I need to tell you. Um, I've been up to the hospital and whatsoever. And he was a little bit annoyed that I didn't let him know. And he let me know that even if he's at work, he still wants to know and he still wants to come down because he wants to be there for me. And I just didn't think about me in that moment in time. I thought about the baby and making sure the baby was fine. So 
I should have told him, basically. Moral of the story, I if you have a partner and you're worried about telling them because you don't want to worry them because they're at work, they'll probably want to be with you. So um, make sure you let them know because they want to be there for you and how you're feeling, you know. Um, so I should have told my ex, but obviously. Yeah, so after that had actually happened, they didn't tell me why I, was, why I had the um, blood. Um, so I did some Googling. Um, and watch some other women's videos about bleeding because after I'd had the vaginal ultrasound um, I actually had bled a bit more than I had done previously because I've had the vaginal ultrasound um, so I called my midwife and I said look I'm, I'm still bleeding is it because I've had the vaginal um, ultrasound and she said yeah it's because of that um, that's why you are so you have to be on bed rest so I was on bed rest for a little while a um, couple of days um, and then, so I did some research, and it looked like it could be um, breakthrough bleeding, which happens at four, eight, and twelve weeks pregnant. Um, and I think I believe it's something to do with the way your period or your cycle is, something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, look it up, otherwise, because I looked this up ages ago, so I can't actually remember the full thing about it. But it was something to do with that. So I was like, oh, okay, so um, maybe it's that, because I don't know. And then. Another woman that I've watched on YouTube, she had bleeding at 12 weeks and it was literally just because her cervix had ruptured. Not like severely, like she obviously had a cut or something and it just, it, she bled uh, quite a bit but there was nothing, it didn't harm the baby, the baby was fine, it, she was fine in the end. And then um, someone else I watched on YouTube, they had a hemorrhage, so they had like a blood clot type thing in the, where, the, in, like, your uterus but not near the baby and then when that hemorrhaged so when it decided to bleed out that was all it was bleeding but it wasn't affecting the baby so it can be a number of different reasons why you bleed during pregnancy um and i've even heard it where people bleed throughout the whole pregnancy and the baby's fine so if you do bleed during pregnancy don't think oh my god this is the end of the world don't panic because even when i went for that eight week ultrasound the emergency one the woman said to me you don't smoke during pregnancy because you don't want your baby smoking. You don't drink during pregnancy because you don't want your baby drinking like alcohol. And um, if you worry during pregnancy, your baby will worry during pregnancy. I know we all do it, we all worry, but the best thing we can do is try not to worry. Um, because if we're worrying, our baby's going to be worried, which isn't good for the baby, obviously. Because um, stress and worry can cause serious complications. I meant like several complications, not serious, maybe serious, I don't know. Um, so I was expecting to bleed at 12 weeks. Um, so then it came around to my 12 week mark. Um, it, was 12, it was 12 weeks and one day when I had my ultrasound, I believed I was. So I had my dating scan and it actually turned out I was 13 weeks pregnant. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then a couple of days after that, I had spotting twice. So I think I told you about this before. So just one morning and then the next morning and it was just, and it was, it was my minuscule, it was like hardly anything. Um, less than it ever had been before this and whatever. And since then, touch wood, you know, um, I've not had any bleeding since. So my thoughts are main, like maybe it was what they call breakthrough bleeding, even though I was a week ahead of that, um, technically, because it kind of was around that time period. Um, but ultimately, I don't know why I bled. Um, but I, I, and if I do in future, hopefully I don't. Um, I, I don't actually know the reasons why. Um, I don't think all of us do. But um, if you've ever experienced bleeding in pregnancy, please leave a comment down below. Share your story. Let other women know that it's okay. Um, don't panic yourself. And of course, um, my heart goes out to all the women out there that have had miscarriages. Um, it, it must be an awful, awful thing. Um, if you need any support, I don't mind having a chat with you. Um, you know, just private message me or something. Um, but ultimately, bleeding in pregnancy doesn't always mean miscarriage. Um, it can be scary. Um, but first things first, if you ever experience bleeding in pregnancy, call your GP or your midwife. Let them know what's going on. Um, and then they can reassure you or get you the right help that you will need for your situation. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my video guys. I hope that was somewhat informative. It wasn't highly informative. I'm no doctor, as I said before. I'm no expert. 
um i hope it helped some women to, if you've ever had bleeding out there but as i said don't just watch the video about bleeding make sure you tell your doctor first um and if you just find comfort in these that's great absolutely great i found comfort in other women's stories about their ble bleeding um if there's anything else i've missed out I, i'll put it in a future video but i think that's mainly what happened um um if they, i experience any more bleeding i'll also update you guys so yeah um thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe so you can see more in future and leave me a comment down below of any future videos suggestions that you want to see in future <laughs> right, thanks for watching guys bye